Victor Echo 3, Papa, Charlie, Papa. Papa, Charlie, Papa, good afternoon. Yeah, very good afternoon, Jim. Uh, it's uh, Rob, Victor Echo 3, Papa, Charlie, Papa. I've uh, got a friend of mine riding along uh, in the background here. He just got himself a new radio. I'm not sure whether he's uh, going to be in there or not, but uh, he just picked up a Kenwood TS-480. He's been trying to get in. His call letter is uh, Victor Echo 3, Victor Charlie Golf. So uh, I wanted to uh, try and get in and, uh, and, and uh, see if he could get in uh, behind me here. So uh, anyway, I'm on my uh, Kenwood uh, TS-520. And I'm running a, a Sure 444 uh, desk mic on it. And the name is Rob, uh, back to KC9BKV, the 3PCP. Roger, now is he uh, monitoring? Uh, yes, he is. He should be in there. Uh, uh, so uh, maybe just uh, give us a call, uh, letters, uh, Victor Echo 3, Victor Charlie Golf, and maybe he'll go back to you. Victor Charlie Golf, got a copy on KC9VKV? Roger, Roger. Victor Echo 3, Victor Charlie Golf, I copy. Roger, and don't tell Rob you're louder than he is. Roger, roger that. Well, he's, he's portable. Uh, roger, roger. Uh, I think your mic gain might be just a little bit hotter. Your dynamic range is, uh, is a little bit less than his, so you're, you're, you're fatter than he is. Roger? Yeah, roger, roger. Um, I've got a new uh, Kenwood uh, TS-480 SAT and uh, Rob was kind enough to help me set it up. And uh, I guess this is the definitive test. Roger, now, are you guys both uh, tooling down the highway? Uh, negative, I'm sitting here in my uh, shack. Oh, is he mobile? Uh, I thought he was mobile, I'm not sure. Uh, no, I'm at home, Jim. Okay, well, I just envisioned you guys uh, tooling down the highway, you know, and one in back of the other, and uh, I, I was uh, joking there, Rob. You, you, you both are, are very loud stations, Roger. Yeah, okay, very good, no problem. Anyway, I'll sit, uh, sit back here and uh, let you talk to Marvin. Uh, that's his name, uh, V3PCP. Roger, Marvin, come on back and tell me about your antenna system. Yeah, Roger that. Uh, I'm running about 100 and... 30 foot in foot uh, made by a company down in Florida called My Antennas. Uh, very pleased with it. It's about uh, 30 feet at the peak. It's an inverted V. And uh, it's, uh, I've got two legs pointed in two different directions, but it's about 30 feet at the peak and about uh, 20 feet on either end. Well, it's doing you a real good job. Now, what's the orientation? What, what directions are those elements going? precisely, but in that general configuration. Roger. Now I'm doing my darndest to uh, bring up my uh, Milford uh, PASDR. <laughs> Always uh, interesting to use the right end of the stylus when you're banging the uh, <laughs> the tablet. Uh, gosh, the tablet lasts a lot longer, I think, if you would just use the right end of the stylus, James. And I come back and let me see if I can copy you uh, maybe a little bit better on the uh, Milford uh, PASDR. Roger that. Well well, uh, the best I can tell you at the moment is that I have this uh, radio now for, I guess, about two days. And uh, Rob was kind enough to uh, spend some time with me yesterday, and uh, we uh, fiddled with the settings, and uh, this is the result. Uh, my ALC is about 50%, uh, and uh, I've got the processor on, and to this. This is the first radio I've had with uh, that kind of uh, uh, dynamic control, and so uh, I'm stumbling through it. Well, you're, you're stumbling in the right direction. I think you've got it set up real well. I finally got my um, Milford uh, uh, SDR up, and you were giving Milford about a, a 12 over, Roger. A 12 over, Roger. Roger that. Uh, from you. I'm sorry, I, I was switching back to my local antenna. I got, got nothing on my local antenna, but I do have U12 over on the uh, Milford uh, SDR. Oh, what was the last you said? SDR. Oh, what was the last you said? Just wondered where Milford is located. I don't know. Oh, it's Milford, Pennsylvania. Now you know as much as I do. Now you know as much as I do. Oh, okay. Well, they're pretty close to me. Um, 
So uh, I routinely uh, hear people very, very well from uh, New York. I'm here in uh, southern Ontario. Um, I am about um, yeah, 20 minutes or 30 minutes away from uh, Rob. Oh, Roger that. I, I do have Rochester up, and I did go to Rochester, but uh, your signal was nowhere near as uh, loud as uh, on the Milford. But if you get a chance, uh, this is all being recorded, and I have uh, uh, an input uh, source indicator on the screen. What it is is a group of six lights, and uh, then over to the right-hand side it says what they are. So as I switch, uh, I have a six-position rotary switch, and uh, four of those positions are my SDRs, Rochester, Atlanta, Milford, and Arlington. And uh, so as I switch, uh, and uh, those lights will indicate where I am. So if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor, uh, that will take you to our Kiss of Eli page. And uh, then uh, if you look for my group air check 32020, my group air check 32020, uh, that uh, you'll be able to see your, uh, uh, your uh, signal and uh, how it uh, sounds at the different uh, SDRs, Roger. That's a different uh, SDRs, Roger. Roger, Roger, I copy all of that. Thank you very much. 7-3. Roger, Roger, Marvin. Let me say threes to you, sir. Uh, you're sounding really good down here. Uh, you know, well, uh, in, uh, uh, in Milford. <laughs> I, I, I forget a lot of times, you know, on the sixth position rotary switch, I'm only looking for the, the loudest signal. I pay, usually don't pay much attention to where it is. I'm just looking for signal strength, Roger. Just looking for signal strength, Roger. Roger, Roger. Well understood. Okay. Uh, very nice. Well, um, <laughs> Milford is south of me. That's the best I can tell you. Well, you know, there's nothing better than the right antenna at the right place. That's the whole idea about these uh, four SDRs. I've kind of set them up in a grid. You know, I've got uh, Atlanta for stuff coming up south, uh, you know, that I can get a little advantage uh, in getting it uh, earlier on somewhere as opposed to having to go all the way to Louisville. And then uh, the Rochester and Milford are the same ideas, except Milford is further inland than uh, Rochester, and Arlington is kind of in the, in the center of, of that all uh, so uh, you know we tried to try to do the best we can to uh, get the uh, good signals from our 100 watt friends good signals from our 100 watt friends yeah roger that and uh, and uh, i'm pleased to know that my 100 watts is uh, is making the trip um perhaps next friday i'll try my vertical and see how that works Yes, always interesting. And, you know, um, gosh, if you could put that on an AV switch. You know, uh, the thing about it is at, um, at HF frequencies, we can make almost anything work for a switch. It's not like UHF where if you, you know, if you make, make a mistake, you lose 20 dB signal strength because the, 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 uh, uh, the switch had a crinkle in it or something, you know. These uh, HF frequencies are fairly tolerant as far as switching. You could even use one of those little uh, toggle switches there and put your couple of uh, fittings on it. You could bring, uh, you know, one to your radio and two inputs for your antennas and actually make you an AV switch there. And uh, that way it it's, that's so much more revealing when you can uh, uh, compare things uh, right and A, B next to each other. Bink, bink, like that, Roger. Next to each other, bink, bink, like that, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, well, uh, up until yesterday, I had that exact arrangement with the radios that I have here and uh, with the antennas that I have. I have a switch. However, uh, this uh, Kenwood has uh, two antenna ports on the back, and so I can actually go back and forth uh, right here from the, uh, the face of the radio. Uh, Roger, those are receive uh, inputs. Uh, you could actually switch your transmitter uh, antennas. Transmitter uh, antennas? Yeah, Roger, Roger. Push of a button, I can go from one to the other. Excellent, excellent. Well, then uh, that's you're in fine shape there. Uh, my uh, 990 has got an, an aux in for receive only. I, I, uh, I don't have that capability right at the moment. Uh, I have a, um, when I was running the uh, 7300, uh, I did have to make a mute switch that uh, would, uh, when I would in be in the transmit mode, uh, the uh, mute switch would uh, mute my uh, 
two uh, 10 foot uh, uh, mag loop antennas uh, from going into the radio receiver because uh, you know you're running a kilowatt there and uh, that RF is floating around so you don't want that getting back into your receiver uh, for the radio that's in the receiver as you're in the transfer mode on the other radios so you have to make a, a, a mute switch, Roger. Roger, a kilowatt back into the radio was a bad idea. Yeah, Roger, that doesn't play very good there. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Marvin, let me say threes to you, sir. Doing a great job, uh, Roger. Yes, sir, doing a great job, uh, Roger. Roger, Roger, thank you very much again, 7-3. Roger, Roger, and uh, Rob, uh, thank you, sir, for checking in. Uh, you're sounding great, as always. And uh, you're sounding great, as always. Yeah, no problem, Jim. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, like I, I was saying earlier, I'm on, on my uh, Kenwood uh, TS520. It's an old rig. And I uh, checked in with it uh, a couple weeks ago using my uh, modified uh, D104 with the electric cartridge in. And I've got a different mic here. It's a uh, high impedance uh, Sure uh, desk mic, uh, 444, I think is the number. So that's what I'm using today. And I've had reports that sounds pretty good, too. Uh, Roger, now you're uh, running a high impedance mic and a low impedance input. Is that a Roger? Mic and a low impedance input. Is that a Roger? No, the uh, TS520 is a high impedance input. Ah, I thought you had uh, stumbled onto a marvel of electronics there. <laughs> it sounds really good. <laughs> it sounds really good. Yeah, it's yeah, The TS520 is a 70s-era rig, and it's one of the uh, Kenwood hybrids, so it's got uh, the built-in 12-volt uh, 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 power supply, and it's, it's uh, actually a vacuum tube uh, transmitter section QSO. Uh, Roger, Rob. Well, it sounds just beautiful. I think you've uh, you've got it going on there, Roger, Roger. Got it going on there, Roger, Roger. Yeah, QSL. Well, thanks very much, Jim. Thanks for uh, spending the time to, uh, to to work Marvin there. And uh, uh, Marvin, uh, he's, he's a relatively new ham. He was uh, in a class uh, that I taught uh, a couple of years ago uh, um, that my wife and son were in as well. And they, they also got their ticket. Uh, and Marvin and his wife were both in it, and they both got their tickets. So uh, I'd like to try and help them out when I can. And uh, we, we talk uh, most days on the local two-meter repeater. And we're about uh, 25, uh, 30 miles apart, I guess, something like that. Anyway, thank you very much, Jim73, for this afternoon. Uh, KC9 VKV, V3 PCP. Roger, Roger, Rob. Three said, wait, sir. Have a good afternoon, and uh, we'll uh, catch you uh, next Friday if you get a chance. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.